focus on their purpose. Golly. Look at Jake. Jason got it all. It done got it personalized. You got it ready. Dude, that's sweet. You like it? Yeah. This thing's brand new. This is perfect for like little food for what we need. Oh yeah. You know, hide it, getting into the tight spots. It's oh yeah. Cover. Got the cover in here. The birds, they calibrate it. As soon as I pulled up, they jumped out, calibrated the whole damn thing. Beginning of the Gigantor oh, Illinois right here. Mm -hmm. This first product. See, this no-till drill we got. So we're gonna have them in the shop in here. We'll be growing oats in here. Hella bees are growing out there with no moisture. <laughs> we, no more moisture we got. That's awesome. Tomorrow's gonna be a good one. Get ready to sweat, boys. Why don't we just do a big horseshoe right here? That's what, yeah. And then we can leave in the middle beans. Right. And anything that comes out of that corner is coming this way. Right. Anyways. That's what I'm saying. You'll yeah, you're gonna you'll cut them off coming to it too. Put so, the blind out there. So let's draw it out real quick. So we got a better idea. So we're all on the same page. How far up you think? However far you want to go. It's your canvas, Bob Ross. You just do it how you want. Or do we just do a big chunk in the middle like that? We do that. We did it on Onyx already, but this is pretty much what we got. If we're right here, right now, we got this. This is how we got it planted. We got an X, and then we planted all this. I have a bow spot here, and then have a blind here. North and south winds. And I think I'm gonna move a camera right there. Me and Ethan just walked in the woods, and there's just a highway right there that X is yeah. right there in that corner, so. Perfect. And we actually kill a deer in Illinois early. My, I know you. I know you like us hanging out with you and going to Mexican, I but I don't. I hope I'm not here. We're not here past the first ten days of October. I I'll come back and shoot does with you. There you go. What? So what's the benefits? What of, of versus traditional? Because being from the south is always right. turn something up. So if we turn it up, up, like what's the what's the benefits of using the seed drill? So right now we're we're kind of in a drought, as you can see. It's hard. Uh, this will retain as much moisture in the ground. We're not breaking that soil up, letting air get to it as much. So drilling these in, it's gonna be, you're not disturbing the dirt to where- You're saving moisture, what you got. Right, you're saving the moisture that's there. You're not bringing up more uh, weed seed. So any weeds that's out there, if you run, if we go till that up, you're plant, you're replanting that seed pretty much. Right. Uh, and then also it's, it's getting that seed to soil contact that we need mm -hmm. with this bigger seed. Now we can come through with this other blend and put over the top of these beans or on the beans it's going to hit it's going to fall down below you're going to get kind of a greenhouse effect to where of an early morning this moisture that's laying on these beans will drop down on the mm -hmm. ground you're giving it the cover it needs it's 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 not a seed to soil contact but yet there's enough there to where it's going to sprout and grow but it's so pretty much if you're drilling in these beans it's almost like a perfect scenario though. oh 100 with, with having having it have it already you know contact with Yes. Soil to seed contact, and you got pretty much the worst drip at all the dew every morning is going to be morning, gonna almost be like a yeah. irrigation. Almost close. I mean, here shortly. The like, best you can get this time of year. Right, 100%. And then we got a rain coming also here. Had a little bit this morning north of us, but we've got another probably a uh, quarter inch, maybe a half inch would be great. Half inch would be perfect right now. That'll help drive this seed into the dirt and uh, anything we've disturbed. That'll fall down. And what's in the blend we got? We got is pretty much oats, clover, clover, oats, um, uh, some, radishes, some turnips. And then, all, then all this is going to be our late season stuff. Pretty yeah. much the turnips, yeah. radishes, yep. everything. But early on, be clover, kind of like chicory clover and and yep. uh, oats, rape. So. Uh, oh yeah, there's a there's quite a bit in there. That'll so. be good. We've never had grain here, so no. Last year we had corn. Danger king though. Yeah. I Even believe, beans. and there's going to be a lot standing. That yeah. they'll be, that we'll leave the rest of these beans. Well, yeah, there's roughly three quarters of an acre of beans left right here, 
and then like I said, we'll have And then they'll, I mean, they got all this on the ground too. They'll probably, it'll dry out. Yeah, a lot of this stand, I mean, it's probably not gonna stand back up, but they'll still continue to grow and they'll put on pods. It'll be like a mega food plot. 100%. Trashier the better <laughs> on everything in life. I don't know where you're going with that, but uh, <laughs> let's go to the next one. <laughs> For a while, Onyx has had the capability of where you can upload your pictures, whatever pictures you got to your particular camera where you could share with people they can see where what stand they're hunting, um, what's in there. But now it's even more detailed than that. You can have every dynamic down to the model camera, um, what size your SD card is, what your battery life is like, what direction your camera's facing. Everything can all be run through the Onyx app. If you hadn't uh, tried it, download it, use, you can actually use the code CLUB when you're checking out. It'll knock 20% off your yearly membership and uh, helps you stay organized, maintain, and hopefully help you kill big deer. But we'll see if something shows up. There's been a big one in the area. It's hot. What a day. About to overheat the tractor, but overheated me. We gotta get done because the cook we gotta go get our cook in shape. Yeah. Metamorphosize from planter to cook. I'm just hungry. You doing hibachi? No, I wish I could. You got a hat and everything? Yeah, I do have the hat. Don't <laughs> tell him I got that. A squirting guy. You can't tell him that. He'll just he'll come out with nothing but an apron on. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody wants see to see that. Know, We're about like to see it. what he can do on a pork chop though. Yeah. It's we got hot. tomorrow we can finish her up, but we did we got a lot done today. That right there did save some time. Yeah. Oh, 100 percent That's I mean it, what we did today was the, what it took us to plant the big time by by tilling it, dragging it, planting it. We could have had it done in half an hour. Oh, uh, it, it, it took days. It literally it, it, took it, it two had been or a six or seven days. day job. Yeah. Without yeah. everything. Yep. So it's hot. It though. was a. Uh, I think it was roughly we, three weeks total. Three weeks total is what it took for everything last year. What will it take this year? Uh, probably four or five days, roughly. And we saw some baby quail. And a that snake. was a highlight of my and day. I ain't never seen a baby quail. This year on each episode, we're gonna to try to go into a little more detail of the products we do use that helps us in the field. And this right here is all the new Bushnell line of products they got called the R series. It's designated for whitetail hunters. And uh, we may have sheeted a little bit and put them to test here on the velvet hunt. And these binos are absolutely incredibly clear. And even the range finder here, the one thing I love about it on top of the clarity is just in low light conditions, the reticle inside uh, has a red glow the darker it gets where you can see your reticle. The rifle scope obviously being early in the season, we have not put it to the test yet, but it's got protective cases for each. The other thing they're even, they're so confident in, they've supplied us our gutting knife here that we uh, gutted and caped that deer out in Tennessee with. So pretty cool. If you haven't yet, check out all the Bushel line of products, specifically this R series. We're gonna be putting it to the test this fall. Holly's corner. Got one left. This will be. Whew. It'd be nice to be able to plant them in a hoodie. But we got a few left to do and 
sweat and then we're done for the day. Spartans and seed, the name of the game. It, uh, hopefully it pays off in the fall. Though. shop here about our ranch king blinds that we're gonna be we got one we got two we're putting up one up here one in Tennessee and we got one we're gonna travel with on the trailer we're trying to figure out how we can get a, a boat battery in there a car battery to where we can charge and edit That's my wheels point. are spinning now we're on it <laughs> shouldn't be too bad hmm it'll work interesting but we're about done here we gotta we gotta do some trail camera stuff We'll call it, this is gonna be one of our early October spots. We just planted all this, so I don't know. I don't know that we'll be back up here before bow season opens, but hopefully they start hitting this, some of this green. So we got borderline on both sides, or we'll see, fingers crossed, this is the shortest lay of Illinois trip and it pays off. We just need something big to show up. Obviously we got the season kicked off with a bang. Thank y'all for watching, all the people subscribing. Trust me, we're still looking at all the comments on the the grit uh, saddle giveaway and, and I gotta get with Daryl and we're gonna pick a winner. And uh, we'll reveal that either in our next episode or else on social media. But um, we're getting geared up for dove season, headed back to Tennessee now. To hopefully dry off some of this sweat, but y'all stay cool. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see you on the next one. But well, that was the mama and two babies just come across. Huh. We saw quail poles. There you go. <laughs> yeah. We'll cook them too. <laughs> what do I do with my hands? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs>